Um, it's my third week and I'm really tired, so I'm sorry if the video isn't as exciting as I wanted it to be. I had Bible school all week and that's what I've been doing. Um, that's what I was doing this morning. I had to get up at 7. And it's really fun though. I got to play God today. It was awesome. I got to tell Moses to let my people, or to free people from Pharaoh. Anyway. Um, okay. So I have a few things I want to talk about today. Let me see if I can get to it now. Um, so I was trying to think of a video for this week, and I was looking at the related videos from the video I showed you last week, and I came across this channel, like I'm doing a whole channel. Of course now I can't find it. There it is. Okay. Um, it's called Improv Everywhere, and if you're a big YouTube person, you've probably already seen it, but I stopped playing. But I haven't seen it. It's really, really cool. Um, I, it, it's called Improv Everywhere. Go, go watch videos. I, I can suggest a couple. So I really liked, um, like Frozen and Grand Central. I really liked Food Court Musical. Um, and I really liked the MP3 experiments. They're really cool. You gotta go watch them. Um, okay, let's see. Let's read about, um, Improv Everywhere. It says, Improv Everywhere causes scenes of chaos and joy in public places. Created in August of 2001. See, like I said, you've probably already heard of it, but I hadn't, so I'm sharing it with you. Um, by Charlie Todd, I.E. I has, has, it, wow, I cannot read today, I'm tired, I told you I was tired. Has executed over 85 missions, including thousands of undercover agents. The group is based in New York City. And they also have a website, and apparently they have a book. Um, I don't know anything about the book, I haven't read the book. They have a Facebook group, they have a Twitter, so yeah, go watch it and join it and possibly, I'm thinking about maybe if I can get the book somewhere, I don't really want to pay for it. <laughs> they also have a DVD, which has all their stuff, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's my first suggestion, my second suggestion is really corny, it's a video that I really just discovered, it's only if you're a Twilight fan, so if you're not a Twilight fan, you should probably stop watching, maybe, I don't know, um, but yeah, um, just because I'm a Disney geek, um, but it's, it's Edward and Bella and a whole new world put together, and it's really, really good. It's edited really, really well. It made me really jealous. I used to make videos like that, and I stopped, and it really made me want to start it up again, so I'm thinking about doing that. Um, but I looked at her channel, and I'm also going to post a link to that in the sidebar, along with the improv everywhere. Um, watch her videos. They're really good. Like, they're really, really good. Like, she's good. Sorry. Repeating myself a lot. Um, yeah. So, those are my YouTube suggestions. And last week I said, um, something about books, and my friends were like, yeah, you should do a book. But I'm going to probably do mostly series, because I'm in the middle of so many series, and, like, it's really hard to talk about, like, the first book, because I'm, like, on book, like, five or whatever, and I don't remember everything that happened in the first book or how to talk about it as well. So I'm just going to talk about, like, the series in general. Um, Alrighty. The first series I'm going to talk about is called um, the Jazz Park series, and this is the third book because it's the one I just finished reading and I got them out of the library, so I don't actually own any of them, but I can show you this one. It's called Fighting the Bullet. The first one is called Once Bitten, Twice Shy. You can't, you can't really see it, but, and the second one is called Another One Bites the Dust. And they are, I haven't read the fourth or fifth one yet, but so far they're amazing. Um, the heroine, her name is Jazz Parks, but she, um, sort of, like, is CIA. So, her, she also goes by Lucille Robinson. Um, and her boss is a vampire, and he's yummy, as most vampires normally are. But, um... My mom's on the phone, sorry. Um, but, like, I didn't, I wasn't too sure about him at first. Like, I kind of liked him, but I didn't, but this book I fell in love with him. So, yeah. Um, and she's an assassin. And, like, she is also a sensitive, which means that she can, like, sense things that aren't human. It's pretty cool. And, like, she has, like, this whole team of random people who are awesome. And so far, I think this is my favorite one in the series. And I added the... Um, I'm doing my video. Okay. And I'm on, okay, okay. I'm on, I'm, you're filming right now. Tell me later. 
that's okay. Anyway, um, yeah. So I added the <laughs> I added the author on Facebook, and she sent me a message because I quoted um Jess Parks in my little you know little side thing on Facebook, um like under your picture or whatever. It's a write something about yourself. I quoted her. Anyway, I added the author, and she was all like, "It's nice to meet you." Blah blah blah. You know, an awesome Jess Parks quote. You know, yay! And she sent me like little flowers as a gift. So she's really cool. And it's got all kinds of creatures in it. Like, this one had, um, like, wizards and stuff. It's it's pretty cool. I think my favorite character is her boss, though. His name is, I, I can't really, it's V-A-Y-L, Vale, I'm assuming that's how you say it. Um, but, yeah, yum. Anyway. So that probably made my video longer and a bit more exciting. I'm just going to stop waving that around than last week, especially because my mom walked in. Um, yeah, so, um, have fun the rest of the week. Again, I have no idea what anyone's talking about. But I think, I think random, just a random person, I think you should talk about our awesome day at Blue Bayou and Dixie Landing. Yeah, I think you should talk about them. I know that Carmen talked about leaving Brightside, but still. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. Bye.